Welcome. This video is part of a series of videos that will assist you in the proper installation of your PowerFlex 750 series drive. This video will assist you in understanding the purpose of the power jumpers on your PowerFlex 750 series drive. A link is provided in the description which provides documentation showing all of the PowerFlex 750 drives, their frame sizes, and jumper locations. All of the PowerFlex 7 class drives are provided with power jumpers. Having these jumpers allows the drives to be installed on any three-phase AC power system. Installation of the jumpers provides a path to ground for their associated device. There are typically two power jumpers labeled PEA and PEB. The PEA jumper is associated with the MOV or metal oxide varistor provided on the drive. In some frame sizes, it is also associated with the installation of the EMI filter capacitors. The PEB jumper is always associated with providing a ground path with the common mode capacitors. The remainder of this video will be to help understand the purpose of these devices and when it is appropriate to install the jumpers associated with these devices. On all PowerFlex 7 class drives with three phase AC inputs, a MOV is provided to protect the drive from voltage transients. With the PE-A power jumper installed, this device provides phase to phase and phase to ground voltage surge protection up to 6000 volts. The PE-A jumper should be installed on installations where the secondary of the transformer providing power to the drive is a Y connection with a solidly grounded neutral. This power system and jumper configuration is required on installations where UL or CE cabinet labeling is needed. On power systems where the secondary of the transformer providing power to the drive is not a Y, with a solidly grounded neutral, the PE-A jumper should be removed. All PowerFlex 7 class drives use IGBT or Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor Technology to create the three-phase AC waveforms to the motor. Use of these devices allows for highly controlled speed or torque regulation of an AC motor. To create the proper waveform, this desired control uses PWM or pulse width modulated signals which require the rapid switching of the transistors on and off. This rapid switching creates common mode current. Below is a typical AC drive power structure. To the left is shown a delta Y transformer with a Y secondary and a solidly grounded neutral. To the right is a diode bridge which rectifies the three phase utility power into a DC voltage. To the right of the diode bridge is a DC link choke and bus capacitors. To the right side of the screen the output transistors are shown which create the PWM signal that provides power to the AC motor. The oscilloscope picture shown below uh, the motor shows the PWM voltage and sinusoidal AC current waveform seen by the motor. The rapid switching pattern of the output of the drive, aside from the voltage and current required for the motor, creates common mode current. Common mode current is the induced current due to voltage changes on a wire due to the rapid switching of the output IGBTs on the drive. 
The right oscilloscope shot shows the common mode voltage and the common mode current seen on the output of the drive. The blue trace is the common mode voltage and the red trace is common mode current. The magnitude of the common mode current goes up with motor lead length. Here the common mode current path is shown without the PEB jumper installed. Without the PEB jumper installed, the current will take an uncontrolled path back to the corresponding IGBT, selecting the least resistant path all the way through the transformer, back up through the line, and to the drive. In many cases, instrument controlled device signals could be affected by this current. Here, the PEB jumper is installed, providing a controlled path back to the IGBT. Limiting the effect of common mode current has on other devices in the area. To find the location of both power jumpers for a specific frame size, please reference the document linked in the description. Watch for other videos in this series that can be used to show you how to access and set these power jumpers.